Okay, cool. Uh, so for today, I thought we would talk um, through the Hanuman myth, all the various stories that, that go along with Hanuman and all the poses that go along with Hanuman. Um, and I think Hanuman has a lot to teach us about some really fundamental human, beautiful things like loyalty and love and devotion um, and second chances. So uh, we'll be talking about that through our class today. Cool. So let's let's begin. Let's begin wherever you are. Um, you might be on your back if that feels comfortable, lying down, Sukhasana or uh, Shavasana. So lying down, soles of your feet touching, knees open wide, or stretched out long. Before we get too deep into the Hanuman story, uh, since it is. It is summer and it is pitta time. We'll do just a little bit of breathing to kind of soothe pitta to make that a little calmer. So we'll breathe into the count of three and then breathe out to the count of six. And then we'll go breathe in for four and breathe out for eight. So we'll just do about three of each, each flavor. So let's try it together. So inhale for three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, return to your natural pace of breath. Take a moment to observe, notice how you're feeling. And to start talking about Hanuman, we first have to start talking about Anjaneya. Anjaneya was a child of, of the wind god and also a human woman. Um, and so since he was half god, half human, he had some special powers, uh, including that he could make himself infinitely larger and smaller. Um, he could fly. Um, as a child, he was uh, a little bit impish, and he was really, he loved mangoes, could not get enough mangoes. And so one day he saw in the sky the most beautiful mango he had ever seen. It was glowing, it was orange. Um, and so he decided to fly up and pick this mango so he could eat it. And so he started flying and realized this mango was really far away, he started making himself larger and larger. And Surya, the sun god, recognized that Anjaneya was about to swallow the sun, and he could not let this happen. And so he took a thunderbolt and he struck Anjaneya down, and Anjaneya fell to earth. He was there teetering between life and death. And his father, the wind god, saw what had happened and was instantly so angered. So he, he sucked all the wind out of the, out of the world, he took a huge breath in, no air in the world. So the gods got together instantly, since the world can't survive very long without air, and decided how they would resolve this situation. And they decided that Anjaneya could live. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have to die, but he couldn't live the same way he was. He was a little bit too much of a liability. So they let him come back as half monkey, half man, and he would have to be raised by the monkey gods. So he became Hanuman, and that name Hanuman reminds us a little bit of what happened, because Hanu is jaw, and that's where the lightning bolt struck him. So it's a little reminder that, um, that he's had a second chance, that this is his second time around, and that his first, first incarnation was still remembered. If you're lying down on your back, let's take a little hamstring stretch here, stick um, Supta Gustasana. So relax your left leg down to the floor. Extend your right leg up, 
And then wrap your hands around the back of your thigh or the back of your knee. Press your heel towards the sky. Let your toes flex back towards your shin. Take a moment here to allow some space and open up your hamstrings. Let your shoulders drop. Take a breath in. On your breath out, release your right leg and then switch right leg down and extend your left leg up. And again, same thing, hands can wrap around the back of your thigh or the back of your knee. Press your heel towards the sky, flex your toes back towards your shin. Take a couple rounds of breath here. One more inhale. On your exhale, as you release your left leg down, extend your arms to the back of your mat. Take a breath in to stretch the whole length of your body. And on your exhale, hug your knees up towards your chest. Take a moment here, and knees to chest, apanasana. Maybe rock a few times side to side. Back, back to center, back to stillness. With hands behind your thighs, start rocking forward and back, forward and back. Eventually rock yourself forward to your hands and knees, make your way to tabletop. And it's just as soon as you feel stable. For a cow pose, take an inhale, drop your belly, look forward. For a cat pose, exhale, round your spine, press the floor away. Again, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. And continue flowing with your breath. Continue to flow through these shapes. And if there are other shapes that spine is calling out for or the rest of your body is calling out for, add them in. Let's take about one more round here, one more full cycle. As you're ready, make your way back to tabletop, back to neutral. Good, extend your right leg back, straight back parallel to the floor. Just the right leg for right now, low belly strong. Take an inhale. Then exhale, curl, knee to chest, round your spine. So a little bit of cat spine again, let your head drop. Inhale, extend your right leg, stretch it out long. Exhale, curl, knee to chest. This time, inhale, extend your right leg long. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right shoulder. So up towards your armpit, you let your obliques do most of the work. Inhale, re-extend your right leg. Exhale, knee to right shoulder. Pause here, this time keep it here. On an inhale, extend your right leg to the right, like all the way off the edge of your mat. And then exhale, plant your whole foot down including the knife edge. Take a moment here to find some space in inner right thigh in outside of your ankle if you press down through the outer edge, maybe in the, your outer shin. Good, and then for gate pose, take an inhale, lift your chest, arms to a T. Exhale, right hand to right knee, extend your left arm way up. Lots of energy in left fingertips. Really nice. Good. Take an inhale, rise back up, arms to a T. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Keep your right leg where it is right now. And then kind of like child pose with your leg extended, shift your hips back, let your forehead drop. Allow some space to open up through your inner right thigh. Your time, make your way back up. So stack shoulders over your wrists. Extend your right leg straight back one more time. On your exhale, bend your right knee, sole of your foot faces the sky. And then for tiger pose, stretch your left arm back. If you'd like, you could capture your foot, kick into your hands, add a little bit more hip flexor shape, space. 
Sink chest forward, a little lift in your chin. One more breath in. Breath out, come back to hands and knees, tabletop. Take a cow pose in the middle, inhale, drop your belly. And then exhale, cat pose. Back to neutral, extend your left leg back parallel to the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale, knee to chest, round your spine, let your chin drop to. Inhale, re-extend. And exhale, knee to chest, round cat spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to left shoulder, same shoulder. Let obliques do a lot of the work here. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to left shoulder. And this time, kick your left foot out, straight out to the side, and then plant your whole foot down. Take a moment here, allow some space to open up in left inner thigh. And then for gate pose, take an inhale, lift your chest, arms to a T. Exhale, left hand down, right arm way up and over. You can feel an unbroken line of energy from your right knee all the way to right fingertips. Take a breath in, rise back up. Breath out, both hands down. And then shift your hips back, keep your left leg extended. If your forehead comes down to the mat, great. And if it doesn't, still great. A couple rounds of breath here. And then take your time, rise back up, stack shoulders over wrists. Extend your left leg straight back. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend your knee. Reach your right hand back towards your foot. If you like, grab your foot, kick into your hand, add more hip flexor space. Again, think chest forward, a little lift in chin, so subtle back bend here. Take one more breath in. Breath up, come back to tabletop. With an inhale, curl your toes under. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips up and then back. If you like here, add any movement, any pedals, any movement of your knees, your hips. Give your shoulders as much support as you possibly can. Spread your fingers wide. Make your arms active. And then downward facing dogs, take a breath in here. On your exhale, walk lightly up to the top of your mat. Take as many steps as you like. Separate your feet, soften your knees. Ragdoll if you like, interlace your hands with opposite elbows or let your hands drop towards the mat. You could sway. Take a breath in, sway back towards center. Breath out, drop your hands towards the mat. Bring your feet to touch, toe heel. On a long, slow breath in, rise all the way up to standing. Extend your arms up for mountain. On your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Touch your thumbs to your chest. If you like, close your eyes here. Or look at your fingertips so the rest of your vision blurs. Feel yourself standing strong on your own two feet. Remind yourself that Hanuman teaches us a lot about devotion and love, loyalty, faith, renewal. And so if any one of those words kind of sparks interest or sign, sounds a little, a little more resonant, I invite you to take that word on and let that be this thing you breathe life into in your practice. Take a breath in. Let a breath go. Good. Eyes open or closed. Inhale, arms up for mountain again, Tadasana. Exhale, standing back bend. You can choose to bend your elbows if you like. Let your chest lead the way, heart lead the way. Inhale, back to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, bow forward, hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. 
On your exhale, step your left foot back for a low lunge. Left foot back. Set your left knee down when you're ready. And inhale, low flying. Inhale, crescent moon rather. Lift your chest up and arms up. Breathe here. Energetically send your right hip back so that your hips are facing this forward as much as possible. Think about lifting your rib cage off of your hips. Take a breath in to reach up. You could even look up if you like. Exhale, come back to low lunge, hands down, lift your back knee. Good, for standing splits, take an inhale, float your left leg. Exhale, forward fold, land your feet together. Breath in, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to mountain, Tadasana, reach up. Exhale, standing back bend on Yvatasana, chest up. Inhale, back to mountain. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your right foot back, exhale, low lunge, right foot back. And then set your right knee down as you're ready. Good. Inhale, it's crescent moon, chest and arms up. Breathe here. This time it's energetically left hip that wants to go back. And it doesn't matter if it actually moves or not. That's just the road that it's on. That's where it's headed. One more breath in. It's an option to look up. Exhale, low lunge, hands down, right knee up. Inhale, standing splits, float your back leg. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale to reset spine, half lift. And exhale, fold again. Inhale, rise to mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, standing back bend, chest up, hips slightly forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Left foot back, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. It's just the breath in this time. Knees down, arms up. Exhale, back to low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in is half lift. Breath out, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, standing back bend, chest up. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon, knee down, reach up. Exhale, back to your low lunge. And inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in is halfway lift. This time, exhale is crouch and curl. Lift your heels, sink your hips. Let your chin drop. A couple rounds here to find compression on the front line of your body, expansion across the back arch of your spine. Take one more moment here. Good, and then heels down. Let's find halfway lift. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, high plank. Into your hands, step your feet back. Always, always okay to set your knees down. Knees up or down, you can always be impeccable in your alignment with your shoulders right on top of your wrists, with your neck really, really long. Let's stay for another breath in. Down dog, on the breath out. And spread fingers wide. And then down dogs, on an inhale, lift your right leg. Think, press your heel as far away from your hands as you can. Exhale, low lunge, step it all the way up towards your hands. Good, stay low. For a cow lunge, take an inhale, shift your hips forward, your heart forward, breathe. Think maybe shoulders slightly back, heart more and more forward. Take an inhale. And exhale, cat lunge, hips up and back. You're working towards right leg straight. It doesn't matter if it happens today or not. Let your forehead drop towards your right shin. 
And so you're getting a really, hopefully a really good hamstring stretch in your right leg. If you want to add in a calf stretch, you could flex your right toes up. One more moment here. And this next inhale, rise up to high lunge or crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your chest, your arms. Take a moment to stabilize always from the ground up. So find stability in your feet, toes point forward. Right hip energetically goes back. Take a breath in, spark energy to fingertips. Exhale, low flying crescent, hinge forward. Send your arms down and back. And as though there's resistance, let your arm movement be even. Send energy to your fingertips. Think right hip continues to go back. Remind your right hip to go back. And inhale as warrior two, back heel down, arms out wide, pause here. Active through your back foot. Make sure that right toes are nice and light, front toes are light. Find a steady gaze across your front fingertips. For a triangle pose, take an inhale, straighten your front leg. And then exhale, reach forward and your right arm down, your left arm up. Nice, good. Engage your right knee, right thigh rather, so your knee stays really stable. Awesome. Energy to top hand. Good, keep your front leg straight. Inhale, reverse triangle, left arm down, right arm up and over. Deep. Pause here, check in with your front hip. So if it feels like it's sloping down, think, see what happens if it lifts up another inch and if hips feel more level. Here's one more breath in to reach. Breath out, hands all the way down, step back to plank and pause. And make sure that low belly is strong. You wanna follow along this first chaturanga, it's gonna be slow. So take a breath in, rock forward on your toes. And then your breath out, slow, 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 bend your elbows, keep your neck long, elbows brush your rib cage. Inhale is upward facing dog, heart forward, hover your thighs, send your heart forward even more. And then exhale, down dog, lift your hips up and then back. Take a breath in. Let a breath go. All right. Take an inhale, lift your left leg, three-legged dog, kick your heel back. Exhale, low lunge, step it up towards your hands. For your cow lunge, take an inhale, shift your hips forward, heart forward, breathe. So find some space in the front of your right hip, a little bit of space across the front of your chest. Take another inhale. Exhale, cat lunge, hips up and back. You got it your forehead round down. Up to you if you want to add in the calf stretch by flexing your left toes up or leave it, leave it out. Make sure that your um, left hip is going back. One more moment here. Remember this inhale, rise up to high lunge or crescent lunge, chest and arms up. Breathe. Stabilize. It's lifting your back heel. Low belly strong, a lift there too. Steady gaze. Take another inhale. Exhale, low flying crescent, lean forward, airplane arms, create your own resistance. Send your shoulders away from your ears. Sink crown of your head as far away from your right heel as you can. And then inhale, warrior two, back heel down, arms out wide. Breathe, pause here. Even though you're reaching out, Squeeze your shoulder blades slightly together, more space across your chest. For a triangle, take an inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bow forward, left arm down, right arm up. Lengthen your spine as much as you can. Engage left thigh to keep your knee stable. It's an option to look up towards your right hand, or even forward or down. And inhale is reverse triangle. Legs stay straight, right arm down, left arm up and over. Think about maximum distance from left toes all the way to left fingertips. One more inhale to reach. Exhale, hands all the way down to the mat. This time, chaturanga or hold your high plank if you prefer. Inhale is up dog if you're choosing it. Exhale is downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. 
Let a full breath go. Take one more inhale and one more exhale. On this inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, cow lunge, hips glide forward. Exhale, cat lunge, hips glide back. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, airplane arms, low flying. Inhale, warrior two, open out. Nice, exhale, triangle, straight legs. Uh, inhale, reverse triangle, flow back. Exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga or high plank, your choice. Breath in here, down dog, breath out. Good, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat lunge. Inhale, rise from strength, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, low flying bow. Inhale, warrior two, expand. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana. And inhale, reverse triangle. Let it take your whole breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. As you're ready, we'll meet back in downward facing dog, your flow. Good, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Take an inhale, look forward towards your hands. Exhale, step or float up top of your mat. Take a breath in, halfway lift. And then listen, breath out. Let's take a seat, we'll take half hero's pose. So we'll tuck your left knee under first, left leg under, your right knee is up. Yes, okay, cool. Um, if you have a block or a cushion, it might be nice to slide that underneath right hip. <laughs> we'll take a moment here, hands to the top of your knee. If this bugs your left ankle, it's okay to have like a cross-legged seat with the right knee up. Otherwise, sit back on your heel and pause. Let your chin drop just slightly. You close your eyes. So. When Hanuman is growing up in the forest, raised by the monkey gods, he met Ram one day in the forest. They came across each other. Um, they became really, really good friends. Uh, Hanuman is incredibly devoted to Ram, was his number one support person. Um, Ram eventually married Sita, and Hanuman loved Sita just as much as he loved Ram. He loved both of them. And he was there as their as their number one supporter, their cheerleader, their loyal, loyal friend. Let your chin drop maybe a little bit more. Take another round of breath. And we'll talk about what happens with Ram and Sita and Hanuman in just a moment your hands down to the mat. And from here, we'll take standing splits. So it's your left leg that's going to go up and back. Standing splits, take an inhale. And on your exhale, low lunge, step lightly back, land light as you can. Take an inhale, rise straight up to high lunge this time, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane arms, low flying crescents. And then in your airplane arms, it's an option here to stay as you are, or maybe clasp your hands behind your back. Good. Shift your weight into your right leg. Take an inhale, prepare for airplane. And exhale, float your left leg up and back. It's okay if standing leg has a micro bend to it. Firm your thigh no matter what. Send your shoulder blades together and down your back. Good. Take, stay here for three. We'll bring hands to heart in two. And then on one, bring your hands to your heart center for one-legged mountain. Keep your hands here. Take an inhale, bring your left knee forward. And on your exhale, figure four, ankle to your thigh, hinge forward, send your hips back. Pause. Allow some space to unfold in your left hip. Make sure breath is steady. One more moment here. 
All right, on an inhale, we'll rise back up to one-legged mountain. It's an option to kick forward this time. Exhale, low flying crescent, land light as you can. Take an inhale, warrior two, rise open. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana. And this time in your triangle pose, you're welcome to stay, or if you'd like a half bind, you might wrap your left hand behind your back. Roll your left shoulder open. Nice. Good, to move from here to half moon pose, bend your right knee, look down to the floor in front of your right foot. Having your right hand down could be to a block if you have one. You might keep your half bind or extend your left arm up. You got it. Kick your heel back. Roll your chest open to the long edge of your mat. Find expansion in your breath, expansion in your body. We're here for three. We'll land really lightly back in warrior two and two. And then on one, light as you can, land back in warrior two. Take a breath in. Settle on your breath out. Reconnect, reground. Inhale the star pose, heels in, toes out, arms to a V. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, press a Rita Padantanasana, bow forward, hinge forward. Always okay to bend your knees. Let your hands drop, let your head drop. Good. Okay, so with hands right underneath your shoulders, take an inhale for halfway lift. And exhale, low lunge to the front of your mat, crawl forward, frame your right foot. Quiet as you can, inhale, three-legged dog, split your right leg up and back. Then exhale, either down dog or flow through a chaturanga if you like it. Nice. Beautiful. Right, down dogs, take a breath in, prepare to move forward. Exhale, step or hop up, light as you can. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale for hero's pose on the other side. Bend your right knee. Sit back on your right heel, left knee up. It's the same thing. You can always find a cross-legged seat with both hips down if that's better for your ankle, healthier for it. Otherwise, sit on your heel. Hands to the top of your left knee. Let your chin drop slightly. Let your shoulders melt down your back. So Raman Sita had this sort of storybook kind of love, which made all people around them, demons around them, gods around them, a little jealous, including um, Ravana, the demon. Ravana kidnapped Sita. She, he took her all the way across the ocean to the island of Sri Lanka and held her there captive. And Hanuman sat on the shore in this shape, this half hero's post shape, looking towards Sri Lanka and wondering how he could possibly help his friend. Part of the conditions of him being able to come back to life after he was struck down in the jaw when he was on Jinea was that he would still have some magical powers, but he wouldn't know it. And when he invoked them, he would quickly forget them. And so he sat on the shore and he decided that he had to help his friend Ram, no matter what, and Sita. And so he rose up, he took a leap across the ocean, and since he could fly, he landed all the way on the end of Sri Lanka, helped to, uh, to find Sita and reconnected her with Ram, brought her back to Ram and reunited them. So in the shape of hum humility, this very humble shape, low to the ground shape, this is the shape that Hanuman took reflecting on how he could possibly help his friend. And even though he didn't know that his, what he would do would work, would yield any benefit, he did it anyway. You try it anyway. So move from here to standing splits. Take your time, hands down. Send your right leg up and back. Take a breath in. And breath out, low lunge. Inhale, rise to high lunge, chest and arms up. Exhale, low flying crescent. And you can, can again, you can choose a bind in your hands behind your back or leave it out. Take a breath in, prepare for airplane, Dakasana. And exhale, launch onto your left leg, float your right leg up and back. Plenty of time for that transition. Engage your left thigh. 
kick your right heel back, send your heart forward, and stay for three. We'll bring hands to heart in two. And then on one, hands to your heart, and for one-legged mountain, stand up, bring your right knee forward, take a breath in. Yeah, exhale, figure four, ankle to your thigh, hands can return to heart if you like, hinge forward. Pause here to allow some space to open up in the outside of right hip. Find steady breath. One more moment here. Good, and then your inhale is one-legged mountain, arms up, option to kick forward. Exhale, low flying crescent, land light as you can. Inhale as warrior two, open out. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana, pause. You can stay here or take a half bind and wrap your right hand behind your back. Right, roll your right shoulder open even more. And then to set up your half moon pose, look down in front of your left foot, bend your knee. Left hand can come down to a support or the floor or floats. You can extend your right arm up. Kick your right heel back. Roll your chest open. Steady breath. Expands floor to ceiling, wall to wall. We're here for another three. We'll take warrior two in two. And on one, light as you can. Land in your warrior two with a breath in. Reground on your breath out. Inhale, a star pose, expand outward. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, prasarita padatanasana. This time we'll take some lateral lunges, some skandhasanas. Take an inhale for halfway lift. And exhale, bend your left knee first, lunge over to the left, only as far as your left knee allows. So it's okay for your hips to be higher than your left knee. It's also okay for your hips to be lower than your left knee if your knee is okay with it. You might flex your right toes up if your hips are low. We'll stay here for just one more round of breath. On your next inhale, rise up and over. Exhale, bend your right knee, skandhasana on the other side. And then keep in mind, this is a different knee. It might not look exactly the same as the other side. Option for hands to come to heart. One more round of breath. Take a breath in, rise all the way back up to center now. Hips in center, hands down. Exhale, low lunge to the front of your mat. Low lunge front. Inhale is standing splits. Float your left. Inhale is three-legged draw, the other left leg up and back. And exhale your flow, either chaturanga or a down dog or a flip dog if you like. Take a breath in, let a breath go. All right, good. Take an inhale, lift your right leg high. And exhale, low lunge, step it through towards your hands. Set your left knee down. And for half splits, just half splits for right now, walk your hands back, send your hips back, flex your right toes up. You could choose to let your forehead drop down towards your shin, only if your neck is okay with it. Let your breath be steady. Half splits, obviously opening up your right hamstrings. So if you're happy here, let your forehead drop, then stay right where you are. If you're craving a little bit more heat, a little bit more like energy, then you might lift your chest and reach your arms forward, palms face each other, it's up to you. Wherever you are, Stay for two more rounds of breath. One more. Yeah. Good. Glide back forward to your low lunge. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Good. Inhale, standing splits. Float your left leg up and back. And exhale, forward fold, feet together. Breath in, halfway lift. And then breath out, fold. And inhale, mountain pose, stand all the way up, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Pause here, breathe here. And remind yourself of the word that resonated with you earlier. It was 
love or devotion or renewal or faith, something along those lines, remind yourself here and bring some life back into it. Recommit to it. Take a breath in. Let a breath go. One more time. Inhale, mountain pose. Arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you can step straight to down dog, or if you'd like to flow through a chaturanga, you're more than welcome. All right, inhale, lift your left leg. And exhale, low lunge. Set your right knee down. Take a breath in. And then breath out, half splits. Walk your hands back, shift your hips back. Flex your left toes up. Let your head relax down for a moment. Find some space in your left hamstrings. Continue to guide left hip back energetically. And then for the last few moments here, you can stay exactly as you are. Or if you want to try it on this side, you could lift your chest, reach your arms forward, palms face each other for the last two rounds of breath. One more round of breath. And if they're not already, hands down, glide forward to low lunge. Find standing splits, Dande Manahara Manasana. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Breath out, high plank, plant your hands. High plank holds for three. Down dog in two. And then on one, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Let a breath go. And take an inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, low lunge. And pause here. We'll take just a few jump switches. This is a, um, a Kriya that invokes Hanuman. So the idea is when you jump up, you think hips up, and you'll switch legs and land on the other leg. So we'll take just a few. Take an inhale. On your exhale, jump up, switch legs. You got it. Continue here. You go as slow as you like. We're only taking another to the count of three. We'll say right leg forward in two. And on one, right leg forward. Set your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your chest up, arms up. And then exhale, bring your right hand to your hip. Extend your left arm way up and over. Side stretch for left side body. Think. Uh, space, especially opening up in left hip flexor. It's an inhale to rise back up to crescent moon, both arms up. And then exhale, hands down to the mat. Second shot at either half splits, or if you'd like full splits, this time you, you might slide your right heel forward and your left knee back. And only go as far as your hamstrings will allow today. Allow it to be different than it was last time. Probably different than it will be next time. Then right hip back, left hip forward. Two more rounds of breath. One more. Good. Full split, start to make your way back. We'll meet in low lunge with your back toes. Good, three-legged dog, inhale, float your right leg. And exhale, down dog. Take an inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward, pause here. All right, I'm taking a vote. Is it time for jump switches again? Are you happy where you are? Jump switches, yes? Eh? All right, we'll do, we'll do just a few then. All right, so. You know what to do. It's an inhale to hips up and switch legs. Maybe we just do three so we end up with left foot in front. Or whatever's that four, maybe. <laughs> All right. Good. Set your right knee down. Inhale this crescent moon, chest and arms up. Exhale, left hand to your hip. Stretch your right arm way up and over. Lots of space in right side body. Inhale is both arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, hands down, 
for either half splits, hips back, or full splits, slide your left heel forward, send your left hip back, breathe. Breathe in, lots of patience as you work on this shape, lots of compassion for yourself as you move through this shape. You might choose to breathe in that sense of trying it anyway, not knowing what's gonna happen and trying it anyway. And who knows, you might leap across the ocean. One more moment here. If you're in full splits, take your time, guide your left heel back. We'll meet in low lunge, so lift your right knee. It's an inhale for three legged like dog, left leg floats. And exhale, down dog as you're ready. Take a full breath in. Let a full breath go. Take an inhale, prepare to move forward. Exhale, step or float all the way through to a seat. If you have water nearby, now's a good time to grab a sip and then we'll meet on your back. When you're ready for a recline figure four, Bend your feet flat on the floor. Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. And yeah, you can always keep your left foot down or lift it up or thread your hands around the back of your left thigh. You could choose to rock a little side to side if it feels soothing for low back. And if it feels like that's more than you wanna do here, more than you wanna think about, then leave it out. You're rocking, come back to stillness. And keep your legs exactly as they are. Open your arms to a T, take a breath in. Exhale, let your legs fall all the way to the left. Supine twist, let your chin drop over your right shoulder. Take your time, roll back to center. Unbind your legs. And switch legs. So now left ankle on your right thigh. And stay or lift your right shin up or wrap your hands around the back of your right thigh. You might add a few rocks side to side if you like or leave it out. you're rocking, come back to center. Open your arms wide to a T, breath in. Exhale, legs go right. Chin can go left if you like. your time, roll back to center. Unbind your legs. This time, hug your knees into your chest, wrap them in, wrap your arms around them. Take a breath in. On your exhale, set your feet down on the mat, feet flat on the floor. Separate your feet about hip width to set up for one round of bridge pose, palms down. Then inhale, lift your hips up, press your heels down. With your breath out, you might walk your shoulder blades underneath your rib cage, left and right. You might clasp your hands and press your fists into the mat. You feel like each foot is completely sealed down to the mat to give your hips that much more stability to lift. Find lift in your heart, chest, hips. One more inhale to expand. 
On your exhale, unclasp your hands, roll your spine down gently, slowly. Once your tailbone has landed, take a few easy windshield wipers. These go together one way and the other. Bring your knees back to center. For happy baby pose, draw your knees towards the outsides of your rib cage. If it's available, face the soles of your feet up. And then hands could go maybe on the backs of your thighs or the backs of your calves or the insoles of your feet. Your option is to sway a little side to side. Let your head relax down to the mat. Let your tailbone relax down, curl back down to the mat as best it can. Welcome to straighten a leg or two or both. Take your time, roll back to center. Let go of your feet, draw your limbs into midline. So gather your legs and your arms loosely, hug them in. Just one more breath in. Breath out, Shavasana. Expand your legs, relax your arms. I invite you to face your palms up. I invite you to close your eyes. Always okay to bend your knees. And settle into your Shavasana and you'll hear my voice again in about one minute. Over the time of their friendship, Hanuman and Ram had a lot of adventures. Hanuman performed miraculous feats to help his friend Ram. So Ram decided to throw a banquet, a party, in honor of his friend Hanuman. And at this party, he presented Hanuman with a bracelet of his own collection, ruby bracelet, which had never been done before, never had anything that belonged to a uh, royal, Indian royal been given to somebody else. Hanuman started expecting it really closely, examining it, started biting on it, biting on the jewels. And Ram asked his friend Hanuman, is, what's wrong? Is this, this um, gift not acceptable to you? He said, examined it very closely, and I don't see your name written on it anywhere. And so, it's very nice, but it's not precious to me. And he said, look, I'll show you. And he dug his hands into his chest and he opened up and showed his heart and on every single sinew, every single fiber was inscribed the name Ram. Every heartbeat, his heart chanted the name Ram Ram, Ram Ram. So this is my devotion. This is what my love for you looks like. You haven't already start to deepen your breath bring some movement light movement into hands and feet and if it feels right extend your arms to the back of your mat take a breath in to stretch 
And on your breath out, hug your knees up. Take as much time as you like. Make your way to a seat. Find any steady, comfortable seat. Hands can go wherever they like to naturally, or you could bring your palms to together and touch your thumbs to your chest. Either way, take a breath in, feel your heart lift up. Open mouth, release, clear it out. And again, hands can stay exactly where they are, or you can place your thumbs right between your eyebrows to the seat of your intuition, your clarity, your wisdom. And with that connection, I invite you to honor your practice, to seal it in with a simple bow, bow forward. <clears throat> 